Yo, what's up guys, Tanmaya for Simple Snippets and welcome back to a new video tutorial on C++ programming. So this video is going to be a part of that playlist that is C++ programming for beginners which has both the procedural oriented as well as the object oriented programming part. So we have around 50 plus videos in this entire playlist. So I'll just link that playlist in the video description and you can also see a card. So if you're new on this channel, you can check out the entire playlist. So one of our subscribers asked for this topic that is he wanted to know extensively about strings in C++ and what are the different options. And I basically thought that I already have covered this topic because we already have an article on our official website. So if you go to the website, which you can see over here under the C++ programming that goes under the courses in the C++ programming, if you see this page, oh, by the way, this is our official website. You can check it out later on. I'll just link that also in the description. Here you can see C++ strings with explanation. So we already have this article and I thought I have already covered the video also, but turns out that this video was left out. So let's cover this. This is going to be a short topic. And with that being said, let's start off with a little bit of theory from our website. So let me just zoom in a little bit. So in C++ programming, we have two different options in which we can go about the strings. And there are two types that is C strings. That is the strings that are there in the C programming. So C++, as I mentioned earlier, is an extension to C programming. So all the features in C programming are also supported. And uh, we also get an option of strings that are objects in string class. So we have two different options when we go about string handling and string manipulation in C++ programming. So let's talk about the first type that is the C style strings. Okay, so the C style strings were introduced with C++ programming. And, and since C++ supports all the features of C language, this type can be used in C++ programming as well. And basically what C style strings are, are basically character arrays. So we've already talked about arrays in detail in this programming playlist. So the strings that are C style strings are nothing but arrays. Okay. They are character oriented arrays. So you can see defining a C style string over here, we have char str, and then we directly assign C plus plus. So we don't need to give the size. So there are different ways of defining a string. What we'll do is we'll directly go to the programming part and let's try to actually create it out. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I have my dev C++ ID opened where I perform C++ programming. You can also open up your ID and program along with me. And let's start off with C style strings. So I'm going to say char str, str1, opening and closing square brackets just to know, just to tell the program that it's an array, which is a character type. And then I'm directly assigning the string. And what I can do is I can say C out name is and then I can print it out. Okay. If I save this, if I run this, there you go. You can see I got the output name is Tanmay. So there are n number of ways in which you can declare strings and create these character based arrays. So if you go to the article, these are the four different types, three different types in which you can make those arrays. If I copy this and if I just paste it over here just for representation purpose. There you can see str2, str3, str4. I can also individually assign the character variables. So the character uh, array values. So if I say in single quotes, I can type in the different alphabets. And this slash zero is by default attached at the very end of these character strings. So even if you don't do this, the compiler by default will do that for you. It basically resembles that it is the end of that array. Okay. So end of the string. That's why it is automatically appended by the program. And then we have a basic C style program. So it's asking for users for values. So what we can do is even we can do that. So I'm going to say char str1. I'm going to give it a size of 100. And by the way, we have to give the size before compilation. Okay. So it's not runtime. And that's how arrays are. We have to predefine the size and sometimes that causes wastage of memory. So yeah, I see str1 over here. I'm going to say C out. Enter your name. And L. Now in order to take input from user, I can say C in and str1 directly. However, if I do this and if I then try to print it out, I'll show you what exactly an issue happens. So if I save this and if I run this, this is possible, but this has a problem. So if I say Tanmay space Sakpal and if I enter it, you can see name is Tanmay. 
which means that whatever value after the space that is my surname did not get printed so in order to overcome that you can use certain functions which are there along with these c style strings so to use those functions we have to include a header file and that header file name is hash include c string okay so this header file has those functions which can help us manipulate these type of strings so what i can do is so now what i can do is instead of taking in the str1 directly by using c in i can say c in dot get line okay then i have to mention in what i have to get the values so that is str1 array and the size of the array okay so how many number of characters i'm going to take input so i can it can be less than 100 also over here but right now i'm just going to keep it 100 if i run this there you go you can see and if i name if i give simple snippets over here so there is a space in between right so let's see if all the values are being taken and there you go name is simple snippets and then we have different functions also along with c style strings so going back to the theory you can see c style inbuilt functions str copy so str cpy will copy string s2 in s1 then we have concatenation so str cat so uh, combining of two strings then we can have the length then we have we have comparison and so on you can check it out from this article i'm not going to go ahead and do all of these because then it will just take up some time so this was one type of string that is c style strings which are basically just arrays of character type and then we have the class string okay the string class which is basically supported only in c++ so the standard c++ library provides a string class type that supports all the operations mentioned above and additionally much more functionality because then it is an object right so we can have all those object oriented features also so unlike using character array string objects has no fixed length okay so this is dynamic and then you can take values according to your needs and save that memory also so uh, let me just comment all of this out and we'll move to the next type so the next type would be c++ string class and to simply create an object or a variable of this you just say string obj is equal to done by sakpal and that's it so you don't have to say char and you don't have to add those square brackets you can directly create it and then i can say see out name is colon and print out the object save this and if i execute there you go you can see name is tanmay so you can also take input from user again the way we go about it is a little different instead of using c in you can directly call the function get line so what we will do is i'll say c out enter a string i'll create this string object and here what i'm going to say is i'm going to say get line the method is again going to be via c in only right so c in is the default object to take input from the console so i'm going to say c in and in what are you going to store the values is going to be the object that we just created the string object right so just save this and then i'm just going to copy this line and say string is obj save this and just execute it there you go i'll say simple snippets and there you go string is simple snippets again i can also take input in a way like c in and then directly take the input but again that same problem will arise that is after the space whatever values you enter will not be taken in and will not be stored so if i say c in and obj and if i try to compile and run this if i say simple space snippets only simple is printed right so only that value is stored so make sure you use this get line and get function so there are many other functions if you hit control space so if you say get and if you hit control space you'll see all the functions get line get and so on along with the objects we also have some functions so now since this obj is a string class and this is an object and not a variable we have functions also so if i say string length is i can say obj dot length so this is 
a length function or method which I can call along with this object if I save this and if I run this I'll say simple snippets there you go string is snippets because I did not I took C in and let me just comment this out if I run this again yeah I'll say simple snippets there you go string is simple snippets and string length is 15 so if you count all the characters including the space the value would be 15 so yeah this was a little bit about strings in C++ and what are the different options and different variations in how we can use string with how we can manipulate strings so two different types C style strings and the string class that is provided in C++ standard library and you can go through this article to check out some examples and check out some diagrams and theoretical explanation and that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of strings in c and how to go about it thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial peace